welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mary and I share a lot of the projects I have going on around here. Today is the third video of a bathroom makeover series that I've been working on. Videos one and two were basically, you know, how I redid the floor and the cabinets. So in this video, I will be painting the ceiling, the walls, and maybe adding some wood features throughout the bathroom. So first I'll be removing these towel bar holders that I don't want anymore and I have a few other places that I need to patch on the ceiling and then of course on the wall here where the holders were. probably know by now that I don't always use the same kind of paint. My go-to paint is usually Do It Best brand. I can get it at my local hardware and I love that paint but I happened to be in Walmart when I decided to grab a gallon of this white satin base uh, paint here by Kills that I will be using for the ceiling and the walls and it is just their uh, pre-tinted white color. together a mood board for this bathroom which I kind of did in my head but I didn't really have it you know laying in front of me um, it would have been black and white with uh, this color of green that the cabinets are uh, some more pure white and some natural wood I think that just goes all so well together giving you know something kind of a vintagey farmhouse look that's what I was after for this room so the last thing I want to add as far as you know colors in here is some wood so I have a few old pallets uh, weathering out behind the shop. I think I may be able to use that. Um, I have a shelf uh, here in front of me by the tub that I wanna uh, put strips of wood as a backdrop you know, for the shelving. And I wanna frame the mirror with uh, wood and possibly add a beam above the shower. I think in this corner it would look really good you know, above the shower curtain. 
uh, to have that splash of wood. So I'm gonna head outside and see what I can find. before I, uh, I'm planning on gluing that onto the mirror and along with the beam. So I'll probably go ahead and apply a top coat to those. So normally I would just dip out of the can here, but being that old wood is sometimes kind of dirty, I don't want to dirty up my whole bucket full of polycrylic here, so I will be pouring some in this cool whip container. So I have these little L-shaped corner braces that I'm planning on using for the mirror. Um, I don't want the silver color, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint them black. Okay, so here I have my uh, mirror frame, and I kind of have a feeling it might uh, cause me some problems because some of this wood is not completely straight. It's, you know, warped a little. Uh, and since I really have no way of fastening this frame to the mirror besides gluing it, I'm not sure how it's going to work, but I'm going to go ahead and put it together and we'll see what happens. So now I'm ready to put my frame up here against the mirror and I will be using this E6000 glue to fasten it. I'm not sure is it going to work or not, but I'm going to give it a shot and I'll probably just glue the top and the bottom uh, kind of where this uh, bracket thing is that is holding the mirror since that sticks out. That's probably going to be the only thing that will be touching the frame.
So I have these pieces of cardboard that I'll be sticking between the frame and the cabinet uh, just to hold this frame into place while the glue dries. So I have a new tool here that I've never used before until just a bit ago and I'm so impressed with it. Um, you can actually get it off of Amazon so I will link it below in case any of you are interested in one. It's called a uh, Craig jig and it uh, drills holes into boards at a slant. Now a good idea would be to actually have a clamp to hold it and I don't have a clamp on hand here so I'm just using you know, my other hand to hold it but eventually I do want to get a clamp. to get this beam up here. Um, I'm not 100% sure that I'll be able to do it myself. I should probably be smart and wait on someone to help me. But being the impatient person that I am, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, first, I actually took a pin and stuck it through the wall just to make sure I know where there is a stud to fasten this thing against. And I'm not quite sure about this side that will actually have a stud, but I'm pretty sure I have one on this side. So. As long as the one side is nice and solid, it's not going anywhere. So what I did is I cut a few pieces of wood that I'm going to use for props to kind of hold it in place until I have it fastened with the screws. And hopefully I won't have a beam fall on my head, but I guess if I do, everybody will know what happened. I did get the beam up. Um, it's not just you know perfect, but I think it will do. Um, it's there to stay. I put four screws in each end, and I have a little bit of touch-up that I need to do on the wall where I scrape some paint off, but that will be easy to fix. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It turned out to be a little longer than I had hoped for. I apologize for that. The next video of the bathroom makeover series will probably be the final one and I'm really excited for that. It will be the one where I will add all those finishing touches to the bathroom and where I show you the befores and the afters. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the views, the comments, the likes. Thank you so much for that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!